Need a good mystery to solve? Want to take a walk through the criminal underworld? Well, if you want to do it from the comfort and safety of your own home, you're probably going to want to watch a movie. Fortunately for the fans of the genre, filmmakers have been turning to the thrills of crime for inspiration pretty much since the folks started capturing movie pictures on film. So there's a whole lot of great options to watch them when you're in that mood. And if you're looking for the best crime movies on Netflix specifically, there are plenty of titles currently streaming to scratch the itch. So if all that sounds good, check out our picks for the best crime movies on Netflix right now in this video. And if you don't find what you're looking for here, check out our guides to the best crime shows on Netflix and the best thrillers on Netflix. Welcome to Cinematic. Here we present to you the best crime movies on Netflix right now. Now before I start, I request you to subscribe to my channel, like and share my video and stay tuned for more such amazing upcoming videos. Also, do follow my page on Instagram at the rate cinematic3. The first one, Zodiac. Rick didn't draw any posters. No, he drew this one. Mr. Graysmith, I do the posters myself. That's my handwriting. In the mood for an impeccably crafted drama from a master filmmaker, the film is an absorbing, darkly funny and at times terrifying watch that stands as one of the Fincher's best. Next, Lawless. I'm the one who's going to make your life real difficult from now on if you don't toe the line, country boy. It's an absolutely wild film and if you're a fan of old-timey gangster movies with sudden explosions of violence and cataclysmic shootouts, Lawless is worth a watch. Next, the bling ring. Orlando Bloom shooting a movie in New York. He's there with Miranda Kerr. I want to get some Victoria's Secret model clothes. <sighs> it's deliciously over the top. A perfect encapsulation of the bling ring's exploration of the way we regular folk aspire to a level of celebrity we may never see. And how that desire can infect our lives and affect our reality in unusual ways. Next, Nightcrawler. Do you have a cell phone? Yeah. <laughs> does yeah. it have GPS? Yes, it does. Yeah. Congratulations, you're hired. Okay. <laughs> Your job will be to listen to the emergency radio, learn police codes, help navigate, and watch the car. Okay. A chilling indictment of how the American dream can turn into a nightmare in the hands of the wrong person. Nightcrawler is a tight, focused, fantastically shot thriller that you can never quite shake. Next, The Night Comes For Us. If you're a fan of the Raid films, or action films period for that matter, and haven't seen The Night Comes For Us yet, what are you waiting for? Stop everything and watch this mesmerizing display of fight choreography brilliance. Next, Green Room. They're killing us. Keep the gun! Oh, no, no, no! No! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Okay, okay! Green Room is one vicious and highly entertaining crime horror thriller. Not only are all of the violent and visceral set pieces extremely well executed, but then you've got Patrick Stewart who can talk the talk like no one else. Now next, Free Fire. It's good to meet you, boys. Thanks for coming out. You didn't masturbate before you got here, did you? You what? <laughs> I told you I don't want to work with anybody who's carrying a loaded weapon. Fuck the small talk. Let's buy some guns, eh? If you're looking for an action movie that's a little offbeat, a little different, give this one a shot. And now next, The Irish Man. Things have gotten out of hand with our friend again. And some people having serious problems with him. And uh, it's at a point where you're going to have to talk to him and tell him it's what it is. The movie discards the glamour of films like The Goodfellas and Casino and instead focuses on the slow decay of a man who has always seen himself as a good soldier when really all he has to offer is violence and selfishness. Next, Startup. In case you haven't fully appreciated, I am his father. If you like your crime movies that tug on your heartstrings and aren't afraid to get their hands dirty, Startup is for you. Next, Marley's Game. 
While the script isn't quite as tight as some of the Sorkins and other stuff, this movie is incredibly entertaining and Chastain gives a hell of a performance. Next, Taxi Driver. You talking to me? You talking to me? You talking to me? Well, who the hell else are you talking? You talking to me? Well, I'm the only one here. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Oh, yeah? Huh? Okay. Huh? One of the greatest and most influential films ever made, Taxi Driver is a downright masterpiece. Now next, Drive. So you just moved to LA? No, I've been here for a while. What do you do? I drive for movies. Although, to be fair, Refn does make that good old-fashioned violence look just extraordinary. Now next, Haywire. If you're in the mood for a lean, mean action thriller, the 2011 feature Haywire is an underrated gem. And now next, Avengement. You follow her home. You take the bag off of her and you bring it back here. If you're a fan of DTV actioners, this one's a gem with some genuinely surprising moments of violence. Next, Good Time. Good Time is like no other movie out there, an indie action classic for the ages. Next, Triple Frontier. You cannot go back to your normal life after tonight. The kicker of Triple Frontier is that there's actually a good amount of brains under all that brown. It's an explosions and helicopters flick first, yeah. But it also has a lot to say about what happens to professionally violent men once the gunfire stops. And now next, the town. Ms. Kesey, I would like to start with your abduction. Four men made me open the safe. They took me as a hostage. Were you able to see anything at all through the blindfold? No. Ben Affleck famously turned his career around with his 2007 directorial debut Gone Baby Gone. But he proved he wasn't a one-trick pony with his excellent 2010 crime thriller The Town. 1922 It's a tense, slow burn thriller with a central character so despicable that you almost don't mind seeing the taint of what he's done corrupt everything around him. Next, Master Z, IP Man Legacy. The Donnie Yen led IP Man series is one of the great action franchises of our era. And with Master Z, IP Man Legacy, it gets the ass kicking spin off it deserves. Now, next, The Other Guys. Dancing in High Smith, you're rolling heavy. You cream puff. Sit tight. You gotta be shitting me! I can, you can't keep me cooped up in here, okay? I am a peacock! You gotta let me fly! Looking for a crime movie that's also going to make you howl with laughter? Look no further than Adam McKay's The Other Guys, an action comedy that delivers all the laughs we have learned to love in hits like Anchorman and Step Brothers, and never skims on the action-packed thrills of an old-fashioned cop yarn. Next, The Lovebirds. I love you. Oh, shit! Ah! Police officer! He's a criminal! Move, move, move! If you're in need of a strong comedy pairing making a case for why they need to star in every rom-com from here on out, or you're in need of an action movie with plenty of delightful twists, The Lovebirds is absolutely the movie for you. Keep coming for more. We are never out of best recommendations and reviews to help you out.